516 here on your Tuesday morning. A quiet start here in our area. Uh, the camera in Dubuque is pointed to the west where they have a widespread shower and thunderstorm complex, but we're dry in Tipton. Easy going here at 280 uh, out uh, in, on Centennial Expressway. Uh, at the moment, we're at 66 there in Rock Falls, 70 in Muscatine, and 70 as well in Burlington. So a mild morning here to say the least, but yes, Doppler radar certainly active here to our west and northwest, and this is going to help spread quite a bit of cloud cover into our area here this morning. I'm thinking by midday that we're all dry here in our area, but this point in the afternoon where we start seeing south winds gusting between 30 and 40 miles per hour. So much of the afternoon windy and very warm. Now things start to get rocking and rolling here off to our west around two and three o'clock. It's going to be the time that we're going to watch for some storms to start to develop here uh, really right across the Des Moines area along Interstate 35. This will eventually form a line of storms that rolls into our area sometime around five and six this evening. Notice that uh, well evident here on exact track showing the leading line here from Dubuque down through Burlington by six this evening by seven o'clock starts pushing into areas near Clinton, Rock Falls, Savannah and Galesburg and then by eight and nine it's out near Rock Falls, Kiwani and Princeton meaning our severe weather threat closes in uh, the Iowa side of the river by eight but continues through about 10 o'clock here in our easternmost counties before things all quiet down here this evening and overnight by Wednesday morning west winds start to arrive and that ushers in a cooler and drier air mass. Now, first and foremost, damaging winds are the primary threat or our biggest threat on an area wide basis. All these diagonal lines correspond with a significant severe risk, meaning winds over 74 miles per hour anticipated here across the area. There is the threat for some isolated tornadoes as well, possibly on the strong side of things. Now, yes, we have a 15% risk of seeing a tornado within 25 miles of any point in our viewing area. And the reason we have that with how much wind and rain is getting pushed out of these storms, we'll get those brief spin ups at this time, though, some of those potentially strong. As far as large hail goes, yes, we're still highlighting the significant risk of two inches or larger. That looks to be more uh, with the initial storms here off to our west. Again, damaging winds, the primary risk for us here today. And yes, it will produce a quick half to a full inch of rain with torrential downpours. Uh, this is not one of those systems that you want to get caught outside in. Take every warning seriously here this afternoon. Mid 80s here by the midday hours. We'll talk much more about what to expect for the holiday weekend coming up in your extended forecast.